welcome to all classic car and in this compilation we are looking at classic peugeot cars and to begin with we are in normandy this was in 2022 we were driving along and we spotted this lovely 403 parked at the side of the road and this car features in a france road trip video that we did in 2022 and in fact here is a clip from it looking at this 403. in this tiny little village we have found a peugeot 403 how cool is that that is great isn't it i've always liked the 403s the estates the pickups and the saloon great color as well what we have noticed in our first day here in sunny france are how many peugeot 205s renault 5s renault 5s we saw a renault 4 didn't we yeah. French. Yeah. Cars, yeah, we spotted the Renault 4, didn't we? But this. Oh, yes. yes. Peugeot. And that is just great, isn't it? I love the rack on top of the dashboard. It's like a French Amazon, really, isn't it? It's very Amazon shape, yeah. and it used to have a roof rack on it as well. Look at the little holes in the roof. It's got the little weights on the wheels. Oh, the old lead weights on the wheels. Yes, so yes, this is a Peugeot 403. This was a very popular car back in the 1950s here in sunny or slightly rainy France, as it is. Getting a bit wet. Beaucoup de plus. But il pleut. Il pleut. Il pleut. Correct. Okay, back to the compilation, and we're somewhat newer now, 1983 ish, an A registered Peugeot 604 STI. Uh, A564 KAC, the registration. This was at, I think, Chumley Castle classic car show but a quick look online on the DVLA website suggests this car is no longer registered or at least on that registration so I wonder what's happening there okay first of several photos from Portugal now we spotted a number of these wonderful 404 pickups parked around still serving in daily use this one's clearly led a bit of a life but many more miles left in this one I think Okay, next up in this collection of classic and modern classic Peugeots, we have a 306 Cabriolet. This is one of the facelifted 306, the grille changed a little bit, that's the main difference from the front end. This was at the Western Park Classic Car Show, the arrivals driveway. Many, many cars queuing to get in, including this 306. Oh, now this is a bit of a rarity, at least in this country. This is the 403 Brake, the Peugeot 403 Estate. This one was registered 167DXL. Now that number doesn't show on DVLA either. So is this right-hand drive Peugeot still around or not? If you know the answer to that one, please pop a note into the comments. Okay, and the Peugeot 205. This one on a K plate. So that dates this one to about 1992. And it is a junior limited edition. We'll see several 205s in this Peugeot collection. All different colours, different specifications and so on. Very much a modern classic now. How about one of these? This was down at Prescott at the hill climb in the car park and a Peugeot 504 pickup. What a great usable old vehicle that is. I think you can either get petrol or diesel versions of these particular cars. This one's on an F plate, so that dates this one as about 1988. But the saloon can date way back before then. And talking of earlier Peugeots, we have a 301 here. How cool is this? I think this is the 301C C about 1932 or 1933 this was in a barn find display at the NEC the restoration show at the NEC held every March I think and to slightly more recent times when we have an N registered mid 1990s Peugeot 405 estate how many of you watching this video have owned one of these or indeed any of the old Peugeots that feature in this video please let me know your Peugeot memories and experiences in the comments it's always great to read those thoughts of yours on these videos now back to the nec this time the classic car show this was in 2023 138 xwa is the registration this is a peugeot 203 which was registered in september 1955 and there's a 1290 cc engine hiding under that bonnet left hand drive car and how swish is this very very nice indeed we have the open top the cabriolet version of the Peugeot 504 this one on the K plate so that puts this one at late 71 or early 1972 but a very handsome looking car indeed I think this one and there is a rear three-quarter view 
of the same car, NLE 998K is a registration on this particular car, very smart set of alloy wheels on this one as well. But yeah, what a handsome looking car that is, very very rare now here in the UK. Next up in this collection of Peugeots, we're back in Portugal in a front on view of a lovely Peugeot 203. How nice is that, what a handsome looking car that is. Those are Portuguese style plates, of course, on the front there. We spotted a number of classic cars parked at the side of the road, so we screeched to a halt and went and photographed them all, and included amongst them are several Peugeots. And how about this? A Peugeot catering van. Ideal if you fancy a coffee and a donut. I don't remember which show this was at, but it wasn't all that long ago, so I'm sure we'll see this one again somewhere. Still, it would appear on French plates, so maybe it was transported or trailered to this particular show. Back down to the NEC, we've got E286LYM, that is of course a 205 GTI, that's a 1988 car with the 1.9 litre engine, different wheels on the 1.9s compared to the earlier 1.6s, this is a left hand drive example, so I wonder what the story is with that one. Back to catering vehicles, and another classic based on a probably early 1970s Peugeot van looking at that one, I think this was probably at Goodwood several years ago. Okay, next up, on a very, very sunny day and parked next to a Riley 1.5 down at Malvern, we have a Peugeot 304 Cabriolet, again on a 1971 or 72 registration plate there. Very handsome, very nice looking little cars, I think these are. There's a rear quarter view of the same cars, a very large picnic basket on the back there, so don't break too hard. But yeah, what a lovely car that is, in that very jolly colour, bright yellow, which we approve of very, very much here. That's OCC HQ. There is a separate video elsewhere on the channel just of that show. Now we're back to the NEC, and an H-plate Peugeot 404. If you think you've seen that shape before somewhere, well, Pininfarina penned this particular car, and he also did the Morris Oxford and the Austin Cambridges of the 1960s. So yeah, very, very similar shapes, but just subtly different. And this is the rare Peugeot. Back to Portugal, and we spotted this one down the driveway. We couldn't get any closer, but I managed to get a shot here. This is a Peugeot 504 Estate. Next up in this collection of classic Peugeots, this was at the Hopley House meeting. Only very, very recently indeed. Apparently this was a recently acquired car. A G-plated 205 GTI 1.9. Okay, next up, back down at the NEC. We're off and down there. EIG 656 is the registration. That's an Irish registration. The car is a Peugeot 504 Coupe. We've seen the, co um, the Cabriolet already, and this is the very swish-looking Coupe in full rally spec, this particular car. I uh, looked this one up on the DVLA website, there's another view of the same car. This is a 1977 car with a 2.6 V6 engine, you can just see the V6 badge on the boot lid there. But yeah, that's a great looking car, again, just like the Cabriolet, very very swish indeed I think. And when we were in France, in the aforementioned France road trip of 2022, we spotted these very forlorn looking cars in the field, there's a Peugeot 305 on the left there, and a little Renault 9 just behind that. And yeah, they haven't moved in quite some time. Like I say, we did do a full video on that French road trip, please check that one out when you get a chance. Okay, two photos now of the iconic 205 Turbo 16 rally car from the Group B era. These were incredible cars, rear engined or perhaps mid engine to be totally accurate but yeah these were quite something really really impressive cars to see these out on the rally stages there's a front view of the same car i think this was in the paddock at the alton park racing circuit several years ago it looks like there's a race prepared ford 100e in the background so yeah a bit of variety there back to classic commercial peugeots now back to portugal and another example of the good old 404 pickup. What a great dependable old vehicle these are. This one, I mean, it's looking a little bit frilly around the edges, but I'm sure 
there are many more years left in this one left-hand drive of course being in portugal and here we go we are now at cape Thorn hall this is the drive where all the cars arrive at the beginning of the day and we have a j plate 205 gti here I'm guessing that's a 1.6 judging by the wheels very very nice indeed i think this car dates to 1991 quite an unusual color as well now thanks to nev over in australia he sent this photo over a little while ago next to the bright yellow austin devon we have that lovely 203 estate what a rarity that is bit of surface rust but it doesn't look too rotten i wonder if that one's been rescued yet no back window for some reason but yeah hopefully that's uh, still around now we're down to bista and we have a five-door peugeot 309 the 309 came out first in i think 1985 and continued in production until 1994 originally it was going to be the talbot arizona uh, replacing the old talbot horizon but by the time it got into production it was badged as peugeot and talking of peugeots at the bista we have two photos now of a lovely rally prepared peugeot 504 saloon i'm guessing with the old limited use only legend on the bottom of the plates there is this from australia perhaps i'm not quite sure it's a right hand drive so it would seem to add up if you know more about this particular car please let me know there's a rear view of the same car huge mud flaps really really neat looking bit of kit that one we're back to that french field again and another peugeot 305 saloon side on view of this four-door saloon and again it didn't look like it had moved for quite some time quite why these cars were dumped around the perimeter of this particular field i'm not quite sure we'd gone looking for v1 launch sites and across the road we found these cars okay back to nec and who remembers these from back in the day the peugeot 104 this one in bright orange introduced in 1972 and uh, related to cars like the citroen lna and the talbot samba so yeah all kind of very similar very similar designs based on the same basic platform if memory serves now we're on the Hero Rally. This was in 2022. I think there is a separate video all about that. This was the Ruthin stage in North Wales. Two photos now of a Dutch registered Peugeot 403. What a handsome bit of kit that is. Very Amazon like, as I said in that French clip that I've spliced in a little bit earlier into this compilation. Yeah, that's a really, really nice looking car. Left hand drive as always. But yeah, I do like the look of that a lot. I could well see myself with one of those at one, you know, some point in future. Now we're back down to Bista for one of the events in 2023 and a comparatively rare green, metallic green, Peugeot 505 GR Estate. Again, I like all the Peugeots of that here. Very clean lines, very handsome looking cars. No unnecessary flim flam in the design, just a good looking handsome car. Now a bit of pre-war Peugeot here. Um, this I think is a 301. These were built from 1934 to 1936. Slight differences between the two cars. But you can see the low set headlamps, which was a bit of a feature on these cars back in the early to mid 1930s. Very, very unusual now. Okay, we're down at Wem, and we spotted this one year an H plate 205 Cabriolet. And a few years ago we went down to Sywell for the pistons and props meeting and there these two classic Peugeots there's a grey 203 saloon there but in the center of shop we have this wonderful blue Peugeot 203 estate and judging by the livery on the roof that one's seen a bit of mileage London to Peking how cool is that wow just look at that driving for Mac Macmillan cancer relief what a fantastic car that is and uh, look at the saloon alongside it as well very interesting to see those two classic Peugeots at Sywell just a few years ago now. Still plenty of classic Peugeot cars to come. And here, the 405. This is an M plate 405, which puts this one at about 1994 or early 1995. Ooh, another wonderful 404. I know there are several of them in this compilation, but I couldn't resist including this grey example as well. 
And apart from a little bit of home done rattle can paintwork, it looks to be in pretty solid condition. And I'm sure this one is still around, even though this photo was probably taken about 2007, I think it was, a few years back now. And here, another example of the 405. And parked outside the Lakeland Motor Museum quite a few years ago, we spotted this Hungarian registered 205 GLD, left-hand drive, little five-door hatch. There's our old disco parked alongside it as well. That was a good car as well when it was running. But yeah, that Peugeot had definitely a long way from home uh, up in the Lake District. Okay, we're at Bista in 2023, and two photos now of a Peugeot 604 GTI in silver. What a rarity that is, and look at the very appropriate registration number on this particular car. So yeah, real exact level Peugeot of the, what, the 1980s sort kind of era. How fantastic is that? Back down to Malvern, and this was the arrivals time of day, quite early in the day, about 9am. All the cars were queuing up to get in, and following an MGB GT was this J-Plate 205 GTI. Another Peugeot 309, but not one of the fancy sporty editions. This is just your regular three-door hatch, and it appears to be a Zest limited edition which I'm guessing is probably quite a rarity now. It's on the K-plate, so about 1992. And this was at the Smallwood Rally, I think, in 2022. OK, a couple of photos now of this beautiful Peugeot 504 Brake Riviera, a recreation of a car that was built in the 1970s. This was at the NEC Classic Car Show in 2023. You may have seen it in the uh, video that I did of that particular event, but I couldn't resist including it here as well. There's the full breakdown on this particular car. Maybe pause the video and just have a quick read of that. It gives you all the background info on what inspired this incredible recreation to be undertaken. It's an absolutely phenomenal looking car. And there's a front three quarter view of the same car exhibiting that lovely styling at the front, which was shared with the cabriolets on which this particular build was based, I believe. Um, that's just a lovely car. J-plate, so that's August 1970 to July 1971, that particular registration series ran from. And we're back to a little open top Peugeot's and a left-hand drive 204, still on its French plates. And there's a quick interior view of the same 204. All very simple, nothing that doesn't need to be there. But yeah, a very elegant little instrument binnacle there, everything you need and nothing else. Nice, nice little car. I wonder where that is now, if you know the story on this one. Please pop a note in the comments as always. Okay, back to the NEC. An AP registered 306 three-door Peugeot. And while we were in Portugal, as well as that 203 that I showed a head-on view of a little while back in this collection, there was also this beautiful pale green 403, very similar to that car that we spotted in Normandy uh, only last year. But what a beauty this is, what a real bobby dazzler that is. And you can see it's got a, a sliding steel sunroof as well. And also in Portugal, I think this was in Quimbra, we caught a snap of this one parked at the side of the road, another 404 pickup with a sizeable box frame on the back there, so presumably that can carry quite a load. And it looks in pretty good condition to me, honest. I can't see too much in the way of rot, probably helped by the agreeable climate down there. Back to the NEC, and another 205 GTI, this one on a G registration. Now 
How about this? Also in that lineup with the 403 that we've just had a quick look at, the pale green one, was this, a slightly faded looking black example of the 403 saloon, but I'm sure that paintwork would have polished up a real treat. Maybe it had just been dragged out of a barn somewhere. Even got Peugeot mud flaps as well. What a great looking car that is. Now, two photos of a pre-war Peugeot. I don't have many photos of the pre-war cars and vans, I'm afraid. But here we have a beautiful pickup. I think it's a 301C from 1934. One litre engine side valve. Uh, WSU144 is the registration of this particular car. This was at Western Park quite a few years ago. I used to see this one quite regularly at shows, but not so much lately. Quick look at the DVLA site. Shows it's been untaxed since 2015. So it must be stashed away in someone's garage somewhere. But where is it now, I wonder? Okay, modern classic time. And you can just see a 309 on the side there, which we've already seen down at Bicester. And here we have an end plate 106 Rally, a 1.3 litre engine. Very distinctive white steel wheels on the Rally version. And these are quite sought after little cars now and becoming increasingly rare. Talking of Rally versions, we have... The 205 Rally in full Rally spec here being demonstrated at Alton Park on the Skid Pan Stroke Rally demo stage area quite a few years ago now. Another little open top Peugeot. We've had the 204 and now handily we can see the information sheet there. We can look at a 1973 Peugeot 304S Cabriolet, the slightly bigger brother to the 204 that we saw a few moments ago. Back to Portugal and the scrapyard we stumbled across this place. So we had to stop and have a wander around. We've got some fantastic photos in there. This 403 or 404 rather pickup was looking a little bit sorry for itself. Someone's had the windscreen out of it, but it could probably have been put back on the road, but I doubt it will happen. It certainly looked pretty wedged in there. And here we've got L867 NUB, a Peugeot 405 MI16, the 16-valve engined car from 1993. This one's been done up as a BTCC replica, the British Touring Car Championship look-alike. Very distinctive looking it is too. And back to Portugal, it's surprising when you drive around some of the quieter towns and the villages, you see all sorts of things for sale at the side of the road. And we spotted this place. There was a whole lineup of dusty old cars under an open fronted building, including this black 403, complete with flat tyre. But it looked really, really solid. Sadly, I couldn't get any closer to have a proper look. OK, we're back to the NEC. There's a 205 on the left, a 309 in the foreground, and another 309 just peeking in at the background there. Still several classic Peugeots to come, so don't disappear just yet. Now, this is a 504 saloon on a T-plate. I spotted this one outside a local uh, MOT garage quite a few years ago now, probably 10, maybe even 15 years ago now. I wonder if this one's still around. I haven't checked to see if this one's still registered and still on the road, but it didn't look in too bad a condition at the time, so hopefully it's still around. And I had a quick peek in through the window and managed to get this photograph. The interior looks really, really nice on this example. Automatic gearbox that you can see there. Probably the original stereo as well, although the knobs appear to be missing on that. I'm not quite sure where they would have disappeared to. But yeah, it looked in pretty, pretty good original condition, so hopefully it's still around. And they've got back to modern classics, and we've had the 106 Rally, and this is the pretty rare now 106 van. This was at Autos de France, and the first time that was held in 2023 at Alton Park. And hopefully that'll carry on happening in future years. We hope to take our little 4CV there. And we are in London now, Landed no, on a G-plate 205. This time it is the XS limited edition version. So we've seen GTIs and the Junior and the Rally, and this is the XS. Another 205 and another 205 T16 photo. This was at Cywell, same place. I photographed that lovely little estate a little while back. But yeah, this was about to be demonstrated on the runway down there. I had hoped to include a few more pre-war Peugeots in this particular collection. The 202, the 302 with the headlamps hidden behind the grille. But maybe that'll be for a future video. Okay, we're back to Malvern and we have a 309 GE. That is on a deregistration, so about 1986. And like I said, the 309 only came out in 1985, so this may well be 
the oldest surviving 309 in the UK. It can't be many much older than that, I would have thought. And this is a nice one. Another Peugeot 305. The other ones we've seen were residing in the corner of a very damp French field, but it's good to see this one out and about in 2023. A really smart-looking example of the four-door 305 saloon. Oh, another catering vehicle here. Another French registered catering vehicle. So maybe people don't tend to bother actually register them in this country. They just transport them to all the events that we see them at. But yeah, if you want a pizza and you like your Peugeot vans, then this is the place to buy your stone-baked pizza from. Premier Taste. Another morning meeting. This wasn't too far from us. A few years back. And a very sharp-looking example of the 205 GTI 1.9 in white. Really, really nice colour scheme. That really, the white bodywork really sets off the dark trim, the wheel arches, and so on. That looks really, really smart. Now we're down to Goodwood Revival several years ago, and we have a race prepared Peugeot 203 being fettled in the paddock. I don't quite know how well this one went on in a race, in the sort of 1950s saloon car race, but yeah, it was great to see this classic Peugeot out and about being given the beans down at Goodwood. Now we are at Alton Park, and two photos now of a 505 GTI. Very nice indeed, looks really, really smart in that colour scheme. You can see the big comfy headrests on the back seats there. Do you still see those nowadays? Not so much, but I do like these sharp looking three box saloons. I think they look really good indeed. And we saw that 505 Estate a little bit earlier in this collection, but I hardly ever come across these GTIs now. So as soon as I saw this one, I thought I need to get some photographs of that one. Really, really nice looking car, but And to round out this collection, we are at the auction at the Alton Park Gold Cup, and we have a dimmer body kitted version of the Peugeot 205, representing the many different body kits that you used to be able to buy back in the 1980s and 1990s uh, to upgrade your standard car with. So yeah, that dimmer bodied car rounds out this look at some classic and modern classic Peugeots. Thank you very much for watching. Please check out the rest of the channel. I'll include a link to that French road trip video uh, that I mentioned before, I'll include a link to that here now. So thanks for watching, and many more videos along very, very soon. So bye for now.